Hello students, today we're going to work on equations and problem solving, which in your books is chapter 2, section 5. So to start, let's talk about the purpose. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to properly define variables and solve rate problems. So to start in terms of our definitions, we have the dirt problem or dirt equation which you guys learned a couple of years ago, where distance equals rate, or distance, or D equals distance, R equals rate, and T equals time. The next thing we need to look at is consecutive numbers, which are numbers that come one after the, another. For example, one, two, three, and four, all come after one another. Consecutive evens are even numbers that come one after another. For example, two, four, six, and eight. So in order to solve problems with unknowns, we need to define a variable. So when we look at example one, it says find the length and width of each rectangle with the given conditions. So let's look at the problem in yellow. It says the width is one half the length. The perimeter is 54 centimeters. So what we could actually do is using our knowledge about translating this English into math, we can say the width, which we don't know, so we'll call it w. And then we have is, which represents the equal sign, and one half, one half the length. The length, again, we don't know, so we're going to say l. The second equation, which you'll see is separated by an equal sign, or a period, will actually be able to give us the rest of the equation. It says the perimeter, so P is, so equals 54 centimeters. So we're, we're going to have to think back a little bit and try and remember what perimeter is. Perimeter gives us the distance around the outside of a shape. So you've probably heard this in video games or things of that nature where they say we have to protect the perimeter. So the perimeter of a rectangle gives us the outside or the distance around the outside of our rectangle. So in that instance we have two widths plus two lengths equals 54. Now we know what W is or the width is. It says W equals one half L. So now anytime I see W I can substitute that with one half L. So the two where he still had, the W is one half L plus two L equals 54. Now two times one half is, two times one half L is just L plus two L equals 54. Now combining like terms we have four L equals 54. So Oh, sorry. We have 1L plus 2Ls. That gives us 3Ls. In order for us to isolate the variable, we're going to divide by 3 to both sides. That's going to tell us that the length equals 18. And because the width is half of the length, we know that W, or the width, equals 9. So now we know what our length and width are. Let's work on the next problem. For example 2, it says the sum of three consecutive integers is 117. So because we know how to translate, it says the sum of, means we're going to add up three consecutive integers, and that is 117. So let's just do a quick review on consecutive integers again and give us an actual tangible example. Let's choose one, two, and three. These are three consecutive integers. Their sum just happens to be six. But what's important is to really look at 
what makes those consecutive. So we want to start off with a base. So let's look at 1. Now to get from 1 to 2, or to get to 2, it's 1 plus 1. To get to 3, we could say 2 plus 1, but we want to start from our base, or the first number here, from the beginning. So to get to 3, it's 1 plus 2. So if you look carefully at the stuff that I'm changing into red, you'll see that our 1, or the first number we started with, never changed. So, let's start with the first number, which we don't know, so we're going to call that x. The second number, that's just going to be x plus 1. And the third number, we're going to call that x plus 2. So, if this is our first consecutive integer, the next one would be one more than that, and the third one would be two more than the original. And we know that all of these are equal to 117. Then we're going to combine like terms and get 3x plus 3 equals 117. We're going to subtract 3 to both sides and get 3x equals 114. Then we're going to divide 3 to both sides to isolate the variable. And we are left with x equals 38. So now we know what the first integer is. The next one would be 39, and the next one would be 40.